A remarkable medical breakthrough. That's what doctors are calling a device, giving hope to first responders and fire victims who suffer from terrible burns. Okay, so get this. It uses the patient's own stem cells to save their lives. As morning anchor Kirsten O'Connor tells us, the best part is it works without leaving scars. House fires, explosions, accidents. They can take people close to death and rob them of their largest organ, the skin. Burns are absolutely uh, one of the most devastating diseases uh, known to man. When they're over 30% uh, of the body, they can be lethal. The list of physical and emotional complications from burn wounds goes on and on. And Dr. David Herndon at the University of Texas Medical Branch says with standard care, the pain can last for weeks or months. A second degree burn uh, traditionally has had to be washed twice a day and topical antimicrobials placed upon it. A very painful process for the patient. That's why RenovaCare's skin gun is particularly interesting to burn units and could be the future of burn treatment. The skin gun claims to take a postage sized sample of skin and extract the patient's own stem cells, then spray them onto the wound, avoiding grafts altogether and skipping any legal limitations because the stem cells are not manipulated in any way. I think that this should work uh, in, uh, in my mind uh, without exposing the patients to uh, risk, uh, nothing but benefit. So uh, I feel strongly that this will be approved. The company that makes the product is based in Berlin. CEO Thomas Bold says normally when people are burned, the wound heals from the edges and then into the middle but their system helps heal the entire burn at once. We are placing thousands and thousands of little regenerative islands throughout the wound. Those islands, those stem cells connect to each other and close the wound pretty uh, fa faster than usually. He says the best news is they've learned with a couple of people in experimental trials that the spray heals with little to no scarring. He had like a huge burn. His entire side was burned uh, with a severe second degree burn. And he said, I was treated on Friday and I walked out of the hospital on Monday. Bold says that's why, though the treatment is not available in the U.S., it should be. Dr. Hernan says this could one day alleviate a lot of suffering but he still thinks the cure for large wounds is a way off. I think the concept of using stem cells to help burn patients is revolutionary and one that uh, will be used in the next decade. Bold says they're still trying to perfect the treatment. He says they don't know its shortfalls yet because they haven't had enough clinical tests and they're working to get those underway right now. If they can prove the technology is safe, then it could be available to you in the future. Kirsten O'Connor, News 6. That is incredible. Bold says they are hoping to begin negotiations with the FDA once more trials are complete. We have posted more information on the skin gun on our website, including more videos on how it's been used on patients. Just head to facebook.com slash news six right now to find the link at the top of the page. You see that man's arm doesn't look like he was ever burned. It looks like a different yeah. person. That is mm -hmm. unbelievable.